African infusions, sources, botanicals, and indigenous African herbal teas from the unique terroir of the African landscape. Passed down from distant memory, rooted in the attributes of the plant, and drawn from the deeper wisdom of nature and of the world around us, our teas evoke both the landscape around them and the African spirit found in each botanical ingredient. We welcome you to a continent of new flavours. Take the resurrection bush. It is our flagship African tea and where our African tea journey began. Resurrection bush is a plant that has the amazing ability to rejuvenate, to return from the dead. For most of the year, this plant growing on rocky outcrops with shallow soil reserves looks like a bunch of dead twigs. But come the rains, it unfurls its leaves and comes back to life as a flourishing green shrub. It is a plant of hope and reawakening, but also of endurance and survival, having carved out an ecological niche for itself where few other plants can grow. Traditional healers prescribe resurrection bush in the spiritual sense for depression, grief and stress as a symbol of faith that no matter how bleak the situation is, there's always hope. The Zulu name for the plant means bringing back to life. This spiritual sense of rejuvenation of resurrection bush is supported by its biological properties to reawaken the senses and recharge body and mind. The compounds found in resurrection bush help build stamina and immunity and it has been known to give a mental health boost, energizing one mentally and physically. With its slight mint top note and camphor undertones, resurrection bush rejuvenates like the African brush with the morning's dew. Where cultivated, we have a focus on standards such as organic certification, ethical supply chain, fair employment policies, as well as compliance with good agricultural and collection practices and access and benefit sharing regulations. For wild harvest, aspects such as sustainability, transparency and benefits to local communities are paramount. Our resurrection bush, for example, is sourced from the Chibi region of Zimbabwe a semi-arid region with a very low rainfall where it is difficult to eke out a living with cash crops. For women especially, wild harvesting provides a welcome source of revenue during the lean cycles. We have made sure to train our wild harvesters in organic and sustainable collection practices and only take the top 10 centimeter of the branches, thus ensuring the plant is safeguarded for future generations. African Infusions offers three key services as an ingredient supplier in formulating and blending of teas and contract manufacturing. Drawing on our parent company, Parsevals, three decades of experience working in the natural product sector, we are able to cover the full value chain and can offer complete services from cultivation and sourcing of botanical raw materials, establishing sustainable supply chains, to product formulation and manufacturing of intermediate and finished products. The main African botanicals we use in our blends are resurrection bush, lemon bush, rooibos, honey bush and buhu, wild mint and wild olive leaf. We formulate based on taste and desired marketing attributes. For instance, resurrection bush goes well with the other African red teas, rooibos and honey bush. Adding just a hint of buhu brings out the sweetness and fruitiness of these red teas. Wild mint goes very well with lemon bush or wild olive leaf as unique African green teas. We also add more well-known ingredients, lemongrass, cinnamon, hibiscus, ginger and sweet orange peel are great for adding flavour and also have their own health benefits. With our range of experience we can source your ingredients, develop blends to your specifications, bag, package and deliver shelf ready finished product direct to you. Wow, okay. Um, yeah. Right. Um, Avril, do you have, would you like to add anything? Are there any questions from uh, the audience? I am really impressed by the journey you have come because <laughs> we were in the uh, Sun Bio together. And maybe you can send me some of this tea. Is it, where is it available? Um. Well, you know, we are still trying to build the market. Um, we, a main focus of what we're doing is trying to bring 
sort of lesser known indigenous teas um, to the fore. But unfortunately, that means there's a lot of uh, regulatory hurdles that need to be overcome. Um, so we are slowly building up dossiers and uh, developing the toxicology data and generating data about the, the plants so that we can um, enter international markets. All right, fantastic. Trish. Um, yeah, I was just curious if you could offer the scientific name of the plant. It was an excellent presentation and you've really covered a lot of the points that I think are so critical in development of a plant that's especially associated with uh, local people. So thank you very much. But I was curious if uh, you would share the scientific name of the plant. Yes, it's a Marathamnus flabellifolius. And um, it's distributed in the north of South, of South Africa and um, quite abundantly in Zimbabwe, um, Namibia, a little bit in Botswana. So it's got quite a, um, a wide distribution. But as, as I mentioned in the video, it is um, ecologically quite uh, interesting plant. Um, and it only grows in a, a very specific zone um, on very sort of rocky rocky um, and shallow soils. Okay, do we have any other questions, comments from colleagues here? So are you hoping to get this into foreign markets? Yes, um, definitely. But we, we, we don't have it in Pretoria, this is a foreign market. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, David, the local market is really... Um, it's a difficult one. It's small. <laughs> it's small. Okay. It's difficult to break into and it is very niche. Um, you know, rooibos, honeybush, they are, are sort of the well-known herbal teas. They're very popular and um, it would be quite hard to, okay. to compete with those. Yeah. But anyway, we've got the DTI people here, so they'll be excited about your your plans to export and earn us some, some dollars. <laughs> Export income. <laughs> anyway, yeah, what? but um, thank you very much for that. Uh, um, if there are any questions or chats, you know, anything, compliments, uh, please put it in the chat box. Yeah.